The Dirac delta function, denoted as delta x, is a generalized function used in mathematics and signal processing. It is the continuous equivalent of the impulse sequence delta n. The Dirac delta function is defined in such a way that it has the following properties: 1. Delta x equals 0 for all x not equal to 0. The Dirac delta function is 0 at all points except x equals 0. 2. Integration delta x dx equals 1. The integral of the Dirac delta function over its entire domain is equal to 1. 3. Integration of f x delta x dx equals f 0. The convolution of the Dirac delta function with any function f x yields the value of f x at x equals 0. In essence, the Dirac delta function acts as a point mass concentrated at the origin, x equals 0, with an infinite peak and zero width. It is used in signal processing and engineering to model impulses, impulse responses, and as an idealized representation of a unit impulse or an instantaneous event. The Dirac delta function is a powerful tool in solving differential equations, evaluating integrals, and understanding the behavior of linear time invariant systems. All linear time invariant LTI, systems can be represented in the form of a convolution sum or integral. This representation describes the output of the LTI system as a result of convolving the input signal with the system's impulse response. For discrete time LTI systems, the representation takes the form of a convolution sum. Y n equals sigma k equals minus infinity to infinity a k times x n minus k, where y n is the output signal at time index n, a k is the input signal at time index k, x n k is the impulse response of the system, and the summation is taken over all possible values of k. Convolution operation. Convolution is a vital operation in signal processing denoted as pn into qn equals rn for all n belonging to z, where rn is the result of convolution. It involves the summation of products of pk and qnk across a range of values for k. Mathematically, rn equals sigma pk into qnk for k equals minus infinity to infinity impulse response and LTI systems. In an LTI, linear time invariant system representation y n equals a n into x n where y n represents the system's output and x n is the input the sequence a n is known as the impulse response of the system this is because a n equals t delta n where delta n is the unit impulse sequence understanding impulse response the impulse response a n characterizes how an LTI system responds to an input impulse. By convolving the input signal with the impulse response, we can predict the system's output for any input. Applications Convolution and impulse response are crucial for analyzing and modeling various systems, including filters, communication channels, and image processing operations. They help us understand how systems alter and process signals, forming the basis for advanced signal processing techniques. Mastering convolution and its connection to impulse response enhances your ability to design and manipulate signals, making them invaluable skills in the field of signal processing. The image illustrates the concept of convolution and its application in image processing. Let's break down the process step by step. Original image of stars. The initial image is a picture of stars representing a clear and well-defined scene. Convolution with dark circle. In the first step, the original image is convolved with a kernel, also known as a filter, that represents a dark circle. This convolution operation blends the original image with the properties of the dark circle, causing the stars to be obscured and creating a blurry effect. The result is a blurry image where the stars appear less distinct and the dark circle is prominent. Convolution with grayscale. In the second step, the blurry image is convolved with a grayscale kernel. This convolution operation helps to reverse the blurriness and restore some of the original clarity to the image. The grayscale kernel acts as a deblurring filter, 
reducing the effect of blurriness caused by the previous convolution with the dark circle. Restored clear image. The final result of the convolution with the grayscale kernel is a restored, clearer version of the original image of stars. The blurriness introduced by the dark circle convolution is mitigated, and the stars become more distinct once again. This process exemplifies how convolution can be used in image processing to achieve different effects. In the first step, convolution is used to create a blurry effect by blending the image with a specific pattern. In the second step, convolution with a different kernel is used to reverse or mitigate the blurriness and restore the original details. Convolution plays a crucial role in various image processing tasks, such as blurring, sharpening, edge detection, and noise reduction. It allows us to modify and enhance images by applying specific filters or operations to different regions of the image. Convolution is associative, meaning that the order in which multiple convolutions are performed does not affect the final result. Mathematically, for three sequences P, N, Q, N, and R, N, the associative property can be expressed as P, N, into Q, N, into R, N, equals P, N, into Q, N, into R, N. This property allows simplification and rearrangement of convolution operations in complex signal processing tasks. Convolution is commutative, indicating that the order in which two sequences are convolved does not change the result. Mathematically, for two sequences P, N, and Q, N, the commutative property is expressed as P, N, into Q, N, equals Q, N, into P, N. This property allows flexibility in processing signals and simplifies certain mathematical manipulations. Convolution is a linear operation, meaning it satisfies the principles of superposition and homogeneity. When two sequences A, P, N, and B, Q, N, are convolved, the result is equal to a, p, n, into q, n, plus b, p, n, into q, n. This property is fundamental in analyzing and understanding the behavior of linear time invariant systems and simplifies the computation of convolutions involving scaled signals. When the impulse sequence, delta, n, is convolved with any other sequence, the result is the same sequence. Mathematically, for any sequence x, n, the convolution with the impulse sequence is given by p, n, into delta, n, equals p, n. The impulse sequence acts as the identity element for convolution, leaving the input sequence unchanged. Deconvolution is the process of undoing the distortion caused by convolution with a known impulse response h, t. The original signal u, t, was convolved with h, t resulting in the recorded, smeared, signal S, T. The objective of deconvolution is to recover or estimate U, T, from S, T, by attempting to reverse the convolution operation. Deconvolution techniques are used in signal processing in other fields to restore the original signal or obtain an estimate, but this process can be challenging due to noise and system complexities. The accuracy of the restored signal depends on various factors, such as signal-to-noise ratio and the availability of additional information. Kindly take the time to thoroughly explore this comprehensive module, as it will undoubtedly contribute to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter.